Coach uh, Shell Yonavret uh, is here standing by to take us through his experience as he's laid his feet, his hands on African soil once again. Shell, good to see you on the Magic Coach. Welcome. Thank you very much. I haven't been uh, laying my hands so much on the, because it had been wet all the time. But, I was going to uh, say, you brought <laughs> the yeah, weather here, didn't uh, you? False marketing. I said that when I started. <laughs> you did. They promised me there should be sun in the, <laughs> down here. But. Well, it works in your favor, though. I mean, for your first I like game. it. This is like home. So it's no problem at all. So great adjustment yeah, or no yeah, adjustment yeah. Perfect, at all. Perfect, perfect. Uh, but it had been a good week. I was going to ask to say, though, because, I mean, since the announcement, like so much has happened and a lot of focus, you've been doing a lot of media work as well. But how has the week been since joining Pirates, meeting the players and obviously going through training sessions? Uh, have been good. Uh, people have taken good care of me and uh, showed me around. Uh, so uh, I've been really great and I met all the players and the staff and we had to sit down together a few times and talked a little bit. So I, I think it had been really good. I haven't had so much, but I, I, I should agree that I sleep pretty early in the <laughs> night. But this is late for me now. All right, we apologize. We, 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 we promise not to keep you for too long, though. <laughs> what, what have you made, though, of the setup at Pirates, the players have made and, and met? Of course, it's, it's, it's difficult to... Uh, to see the whole picture just after three, four days. But I have seen a few games on TV, of course, earlier and, and now also. And I have taken uh, good help from the, our analyzer and we have tried to, to watch a little bit. But of course, it's there are 30 players out there mm -hmm. and it's impossible for me to know all the names, for example, sure. first week. But, but we, we work on it. And, uh, but it has been fun. I have seen them uh, live. It's totally different from watching them on TV. But I think I've been a good week. I mean, you talk about a great week and you talk about 30 players. For Shell, what do you prefer the most? I mean, do you prefer working with a smaller squad, a bigger squad, or you have no preference? Good players. Uh, it could all be, it's, I don't know, it's, sometimes it's, it's could, I, I can see like uh, Sundowns or a few other clubs who have a lot of games. They need uh, big squads, of course, uh, because of injuries and they have to change a little bit. But when you just play like us right now, uh, when you just play the, 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 in the league, it could be tough. It's tough to be number 28 or something. You, yeah. You're not close to the team. Uh, so it's, it's tough for them. And I want to share everyone up, but it's, could, it could be tough sometimes. But at the same time, it's better to have a little too many than be too short but uh, yeah makes sense yeah it, it makes sense though because I mean you talk about cheering everybody up when Tato was going through the log table just now I didn't see Orlando Pirates in the top eight mm. which means again you got your work cut out because a team of that caliber should be and deserves to be consistently in that top eight yeah yeah uh, definitely definitely yeah. Uh, so uh, we have to work hard now to uh, get back there that's absolutely the target and the goal for for the rest of this season but it's also uh, for the next season we can't do so much about what's had happened uh, this season we are i don't know is it 15 points mm. behind so i don't think we should scream too much but but now we have to start working and do our, our best the, the last mm. part of this season and then be on from the start next year I mean, obviously, when you look back at history, and history will tell us again that Orlando Pirates is literally the only team in the PSL's history that has never finished below the top eight, which means, again, the expectations are high. It's the same team as well that celebrates yeah. 80 years of existence this season. So does that put any pressure on you? Or you just handle pressure because you're a football coach? Yeah, I think that at least it's one thing in, in, in my work, uh, definitely. But... Um, but uh, I, I think it's, I like that. Yeah. Uh, it has been boring to be in a club where nobody cares what you're doing. Uh, you do exactly the same work there probably. You work hard. It's a pretty tough job. Uh, but, but, I mean, uh, it's fun when people care what you're doing and reaction. Okay, there could be too much sometimes, but it could go both ways. You know, sometimes you're up here and, and mm -hmm. the next day there. So, so, uh, but, but I like it. I like it when it is like that. And I can always go home to Mama, uh, if there's going to be any problem. She's <laughs> nice to me. Where is Mama? Mama is in Stockholm, so it's a bit to go, but, but uh, she's waiting for me. Okay, all right. I mean, that's, only, <laughs> that's a positive way of looking at things all around. Because I was going to say, though, Coach, 
do you start immediately? I mean, this weekend, do we see you on the bench or you've chosen to be in the grandstand and allow maybe the assistants to be on the bench? How are you handling? I'm not the guy who's sitting so much on the bench. I'm more up there. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think it's better for the heart to move a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, yeah, everything should be solved down so I can be on the, on the bench. It'll be down there at the pitch. From the weekend? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And obviously, I suppose, Tato, when you, when you look at the opposition, again, you know, Pulgwane City is a, is, a, is a team that has started the season extremely well. You know, the coach has got the, the stranglehold over the players, and they've been performing. A lot of people expect them to be in the bottom half of the table, and yet they haven't been. Yet they haven't, but I think it's one of those things where since Luke ML came to Pulugwani City, they certainly did have a certain change of demeanor when they play. Certainly are a team they can call rise and shine. Mm. And uh, I think it's the nice thing about Pulugwani City is that uh, it's not just a team from Limpopo because mm. usually in the league, they're like, okay, we'll focus on the teams from Gauteng. And the outer skirts really aren't that important. But then you've got the likes of Baroka and Pulugwani City, and they certainly have change what people think about teams from the other side. And Pulugwani City, like you're saying, is a team not to underestimate because uh, you, we should expect them to be lower in the league, perhaps where Barocca are sitting now at the bottom, but they're not because Luke Emel is doing right. He certainly has found uh, the right vein of form for that team and he's working for them and they work well together. I think all together is, is exactly that. Uh, because, Coach, I mean, you talk about watching the opposition play or maybe even watching Orlando Pirates play in the videos. How much of the Pulugwani City team as a whole have you done any video analysis on? Yeah, uh, we, we have watched a little bit. Of yeah. I, I always like to watch a little bit. But for me, it's the most important is what Orlando Pirates are going to do. Uh, OK, this is the start, but soon or in the future, I want everyone to look at what Orlando Pirates are doing. Uh, of course, we have to know a little bit, but we should be the team that the other ones look at. I mean, you, you come in mid-season, you know, the second round has already kicked in. Yeah. That can't be an advantage. I mean, is it a disadvantage? Have you had a situation like this happen before? Yeah, but you? most of the times these days, coaches are get jobs in the middle of seasons. Yeah. Because uh, in football, uh, things happen more than once a year for some clubs. So, so I'm u not used to it, but I've done it before. Mm. But at the same time, I see it as a fantastic chance. I mean, uh, what, have we, what can we lose now? Hopefully, mm. we can get in some uh, smile again in the, in the, in the squad. The happy and, people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, and and, and uh, forget about what's happened. Go out now and play football because uh, it's fun to play football. And I, I, I think the Pirates guys, sometime the last yeah, month, mm. uh, they have been a little high and they have been a little nervous to go out mm. there. But now we should just go out and enjoy it and have some fun. No, oh, exactly. I mean, Moeng, you just got to reflect back a couple of weeks uh, to all the drama that was happening sure. uh, at Loftus. Uh, you talk about the Bulls, uh, the home of the yeah. Bulls as well. Where, where the fans had reached what I would call the boiling point as well, the way they were expecting so much. Yeah. And I can imagine for Coach Shell, they're going to be doing the same for him as well. They certainly will be doing the same for him because I think that Orlando Pirates fans are very vocal, but also, like you say, they are happy mm. people at the end of the day. So um, come the wins, come the smiles from the happy people. And on Twitter, Kulani says, the new Bucks coach uh, has sense of humor for days. I'm looking forward to his post-match interview. So a lot of people are really excited about you being here, Sean. Okay. I hope they're just not looking forward to see an interview after the game, <laughs> even look a little bit at the game also. Well, here in South Africa, yeah. post-match yeah, interviews yeah, 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 yeah. are a highly built yeah, episode, yeah. actually. Uh, but it's going to be, of course, I, I have been here playing uh, against uh, South African teams many times, but it's... Uh, new experience for me to be coaching a team so it's going to be fantastic for me also i'm really looking forward to the weekend oh. i think just from what the coach is saying and the way he's articulating that i think he's excited to be here all the pirates fans and just maybe uh, fans of uh, football generally do send us your questions so the coach is going absolutely nowhere he'll be with us straight after the break plus 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 as we expand it is a thursday channel